Hey, Mason from Gadget Coach. In this short video, we're going to show you how to set up a alternative keyboard. In this case, the uh, Gboard from Google on your iPad, or it also works in the same way on your iPhone. Okay, so first step is you need to go to your app store. Here we're running iOS 11 preview mode. It should hopefully look very much the same uh, when you come around to do it. This is iPad Pro. Go to app store. You might know the name of the keyboard you're after. Uh, if you do, then uh, use the search. Otherwise, you uh, can go through the different categories and might be able to locate it that way. So I'm gonna go search. I know this one's called Gboard. Uh, then just start typing in and the predictor will come up. Then we've got some other types of keyboards. There's emoji keyboards, um, there's rainbow key, different colored keyboards. I want Gboard. You can see in this case, I've got it on my account. I use it on my iPhone. Uh, it's probably my favorite keyboard at the moment. So it's got the cloud symbol. Otherwise it would say get if you haven't purchased before. Tap on get, that will download in the background. That is happening nice and quickly. There we go, almost there. So I'm gonna start heading to where I need to go next. Next thing to do to set up this keyboard, you see I've got the app there. I can tap on the app to get started and it's got vertical. So it'll say right from your keyboard, you can do glide type and other things. So get started gives you the instructions on the screen. You need to go to your settings app, tap general keyboards. That's wonderful. I will show you exactly how to do that. Uh, there's a skip button up the top. Uh, there are some other options here, languages, search settings, uh, themes, you can change the look, uh, put some colored backgrounds if you like. Uh, languages, we're in Australia, so we've got English, Australian English, uh, set up Gboard, then there's the instructions again. So let's run through those steps. So we need to go to settings. Go down to general on the left hand side. Uh, on iPhone, obviously just scroll down a little bit. Then under the general menu, we want to go to keyboard. A little bit of a scroll, there we've got keyboard. Tap on that. Then it'll show the top keyboards too. By default, you have two keyboards. Mm -hmm installed on your device. Uh, maybe one, depending on the country you're in, probably two. There's other options here. We won't touch on those today, but I'm gonna go onto keyboards, and it shows me I've got Australian English and Emoji keyboard installed. I can remove one if I wanted to via edit at the top, so I could remove the Emoji keyboard. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna go add new keyboard. There's other pre-installed ones, go Gboard. There it goes, showing me it's installed. I want to increase its priority uh, because when you cycle through your keyboards on your iPhone or iPad, when you press the globe symbol, this will dictate uh, which order they come up in, uh, which one will come first. So emoji might be the last thing I want to pop up. I don't want it to pop up straight away. So I've moved that to lowest in priority. And the last step I need to do with the Gboard is to tap on to go to the next page and allow full access. Uh, this is important for uh, search and, and, and other ex extended capabilities of this keyboard. When I do so, little prompts will come up saying, do I want to allow full access for Gboard keyboards? Uh, it allows the developer to access things uh, that we might be typing in. Uh, this, any other type of keyboard, not just Google, uh, will come up with this. So uh, this comes with a, uh, a risk alert. You need to know the risks that are there. I'm comfortable with this, so I'm going to go allow. Close settings. Okay, now I'm going to write a new email, go to my Gmail app. I'd already hit compose, uh, tap in the compose field. Now. I hit the globe symbol to cycle through my keyboards. You can see there's the Gboard there. There's the emoji one before. So I tap on ABC, then the globe to cycle through the different keyboards that are there. And demonstrate uh, this is glide typing. And you can see I didn't actually quite get it because I didn't 
can't exactly hit the words. I'm right-handed, but I was doing it with my left hand. Uh, so it's got this is good going, which is not quite correct, but you can see the predicted it comes up with alternative words based off some of the things I was uh, trying to type. So if I just tap on typing, it'll auto-correct that one word. If I tap on uh, the end of good, then it'll give me other options. And that's just, I didn't even go over an L properly. So that's why it's come up with good and uh, gold. It, it sort of touched on it, but I, I, my, my gliding wasn't quite correct because it was with the other hand. Uh, if I tap on the... Uh, at the bottom, I've got the emoji symbol, and I'll go to this screen where you get all of your normal emojis. A uh, couple of cool things, you can search for emojis using this little inbuilt search within the keyboard. So uh, if I want a burger emoji, I can just type burger and there it comes up for me. I don't have to scroll through to find it. As well, under the smiley face, is the GIF option, another key uh, favorite part of this keyboard. Tap on GIF, any number of uh, GIFs will pop up with uh, categories across the bottom. I can tap on thumbs up, no, yes. And again, I can use the search function to find a GIF on anything. So I could, uh, well, there's some, some prompts. Let's just go with happy birthday and I'll do a search and come up with some happy birthday GIFs. Then I can swipe through. To add this GIF to an email or a message, anything I'm writing, I just tap on it, comes up with copied, go to the part and what I'm trying to write, press and hold for the options, hit paste, and there goes my GIF inserted in. In this case, it just had to load for a few seconds, so happy birthday. So that is how to install, uh, activate, set up, and use a little bit of an alternative keyboard, in this case, the Gboard on iPhone, iPad, this is iPad Pro. We hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we would love to hear your thoughts, questions, any recommendations for other keyboards that you like on your Apple devices. Boom.